boys and girls, today I'm going to teach you about greater than, less than, and equal. So let's start with greater. I have two numbers right here, eight and three. I need to find which number is greater. Well, the word greater means more. So which number has more? If you're not sure, you can always draw circles underneath each number. Let's start with eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's look at three. One, two, three. Which number is greater or has more? The number eight. Now, if you look up here, you will see a symbol. It kind of looks like an alligator mouth. Pretend that this arrow is an alligator mouth. An alligator is always hungry. Does he want to eat a small amount or the biggest amount? He wants to eat the biggest amount. So when I draw my arrow, if I'm saying a number is greater, I need to make sure that the biggest part of my arrow faces the bigger number, the greater number. I'm going to pretend that my alligator has teeth and he's going to eat that number eight. When we're talking about greater than, we look at the arrow and the open end always goes toward the bigger number, the greater number. Let's look at another example. Seven and four. Which number is greater? Seven is the greater number. It has more. So when I draw my arrow, I need to make sure the big end of my arrow or my pretend alligator mouth is facing the bigger number. Let's look at less than. Less than means smaller. So let's look at these two numbers, two and seven. If I don't know how to tell which number is smaller, I can always draw my circles. Two, one, two, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which number is less? Two is less. When I'm talking about a number that is less and I'm using my arrows, I need to make sure the small part of my arrow faces the smaller number, the number that is less. If you look at the mouth of my arrow, it's still eating or facing the bigger number. Let's look at the numbers five and nine. Which number is less? Five is less. So I look at my arrow and the small part, the point of my arrow faces the smaller number, the number that is less, and the bigger part, the open part, faces the number that is more. Let's review greater than and less than before we move on to equal. So greater means more. When you use your arrow, you want the wide end of your arrow to face that bigger number. Eight is greater than three. Seven is greater than four. The bigger part of my arrow faces the bigger number. When we talk about less than, that pointy part of the arrow faces the smaller number. So the smallest part of the arrow faces the smaller number. Two is less than seven. Five is less than nine. Now let's talk about equal, and we're all familiar with the word equal. Equal means that both numbers are exactly the same. Five and five, are they the same? They are, so we would say that they are equal. Three and three, are they the same? They are, so we would say they are equal. And you would read your problem as five is equal to five, three is equal to three. 
I hope this helps boys and girls. You have some practice work to do. If you have any questions, feel free to have mom and dad email your teachers. Have a good day.